guys welcome back to my channel this is sash if you're new to this channel thank you so much for watching and if you have already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing i really appreciate the support and if you like my videos feel free to click the subscription button below so um youtube could recommend this video to other people who also like similar content as well and feel free to join by clicking the subscription button below this video um so you could be notified whenever i post new videos and for those who already subscribed once again thank you so much i really appreciate it so a lot has happened because i know it's been a long while since i've posted a whole lot have happened i've moved actually i'm no longer living in new york so i've moved to a whole other state and um it's i just got here yesterday so um i got a whole new job i'm supposed to start that next month um so i'm here now to find a apartment and then I have to get a new car because my other car in New York, I sold that one because um, it doesn't make sense for me to bring it all the way here. Um, so I might as well just sell it. And it was in pretty good condition. And, you know, the value of cars go down as the years go on. So it's best to just sell it and get something else here. So that's uh, that's also on the agenda. So I need to get an apartment and I need to get a new car. <laughs> So today I'm going to start doing all of that. I'm probably going to call around. I was looking online for um, local dealers, looking at the prices that they had. So I'm going to call around and see what they have in stock because I'd rather something that I could get right away than to wait because here, unlike New York, you could get around with the bus and the train if your car isn't working. So it's not a car is not really necessary in New York, but here you need a car there's just no way you could do anything without a car and uber is so expensive so i'm gonna try to make that on top of my priority list especially since i'm gonna be driving around looking at apartments it's best that i have a car to make everything easier so um i'll try to take you guys along as best as i can <laughs> oh my gosh okay so let's get going it's pretty early in the morning but i want to get it going because i have a lot to do it's around uh nine o'clock now so all right So it's like four, actually 5.25 p.m. And I finally got my car. Um, so here we go. I wish it had like a sunroof, but it doesn't, but it's fine. Um, actually, I'm pretty pleased with it. So I just wanted something that could get me from point A to point B and that's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. When I'm a millionaire, I'll get the real deal. But for right now, this is good enough for what I need it for. So I'm going to finally head back to the hotel. Actually, I need to go grocery shopping because I have no food and I need to find somewhere to buy dinner because I haven't eaten since breakfast and I am tired. That's how long it took to really purchase the car. So yeah, let's go. I'll check in with you later so, um today is the first day of my apartment hunting Ugh. so i'm gonna look at the first apartment um, i'm gonna just plug the address in in the gps and hopefully i find it in one piece because i've been getting lost down here like the first day i got the car i got lost driving back from the dealership to the hotel i'm staying so i'm hoping and praying that i find this place no problems and i really need to find an apartment right away because the time i paid for at the hotel is running out and i don't want to have to pay for more time at a hotel so the quicker i find the apartment you know the more i could feel settled because right now i still don't feel like a hundred percent settled i'm still like what am i doing i don't know <sighs> but it's scary it's scary like moving somewhere where you don't know anybody I think this is one of the scariest things I've done. <laughs> I'm just holding on to hope that um, it will all work out and I'll meet people. So far, I've met a few people down here and they seem nice. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll be able to meet more nice people. <laughs> um, they've been super helpful. Um, so, but um, I haven't made like any like, oh, 
I'm gonna be friends. Well, I met one lady, she's really nice, so maybe we'll see. Um, and then the, the Uber driver who brought me to the hotel, he was so nice. Um, he actually used to live in New York and he was gonna give me free tickets to Disney. And I'm like, I've been calling the number. <laughs> I'm like, I need those free tickets. But um, I haven't gotten to him. Um, but um, so far, we'll see how it goes. I'll try to capture some of the um, apartment. I was I have appointments to see one apartment today. But I was hoping I would be able to see more than one and not waste the day just seeing one apartment. But everything they want an appointment to see. I'm just going to listen. The New Yorker in me wants to just pull up and be like, let me see what you got going on over there. But everybody wants an appointment, an appointment. But I'm like, listen, that's going to waste time. Because sometimes the appointments aren't the same day appointments. Um, so it's a bit, you know, it drags it really drags because i could have just gone there and somebody could have shown it to me the the walkthroughs only take like 30 minutes so <sighs> i think all right so i'm gonna go look at this one i've messaged on second apartment i'm just waiting on them to confirm when i could come and see it um but i was thinking to just go by there and hopefully i'll get lucky and somebody will be able to show it to me today because it's just one today and there's 24 hours in a day i don't want to waste a whole day um tomorrow i have an appointment to see two more apart apartments but to be honest with you i don't want to be running around viewing a ton of apartments once i see one that i like and that matches that's the thing um i was trying to get one not too far away from my job that's coming up because um i don't want to have to do like a long commute that's the thing that's making it so difficult because almost everything is like uh quite a bit away from the job and i'm like oh my god that's listen this job looks like because i drove there yesterday it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere <laughs> And I'm from New York, so going into what looks like a wooded area to work, I don't know. <laughs> but it may not be wooded to people who live there, but for me, coming from a city, I'm like, wow, this, this place looks like... You know, I wanted it to be in like a more developed area, but um, I'll just go with the flow. Um... <laughs> I'm trying not to psych myself out because I'm just gonna go with the flow. Um, so let's see. We're gonna see one apartment now, and then I'll try to see a second one today, um, and then two more tomorrow. And I'm gonna pick from those four. I'm not gonna be running around. Uh -uh. So all right, we'll catch you back when I'm at the apartment. All right, so I'm at the first apartment. I'm gonna have a look at the inside in a little bit. I'm waiting on the leasing agent to get here. Um, so far it's quiet and clean so we'll see so this is the bedroom oh. and then and the living area is big it's not that I've, it's big so i would be okay the first one? Yeah, I'd be fine yeah. with it. It's me, it's not like a fast yeah. yeah. Okay. And then he's okay. okay. So I just saw the first apartment. So the apartment itself, it has a lot of space. Um, I do like the finishes. It's like pretty okay for me. It's not like, you know, major, but it's fine. But the problem is I saw roaches. I saw a dead roach and then I saw some roach eggs on the ground and I saw a tiny black roach crawling on the what was the kitchen cabinet so ain't no way I don't think so I'm gonna look at some other ones um, I have an appointment I just scheduled an appointment to see one at 12 o'clock today and then I'm gonna go see one like the snow is like almost 11 so I'm wondering if I could get to I have another one that I want to see so I'll just, I'm not sure if I should wait till 12 o'clock because it's like almost 11 o'clock now. Um, it's like an hour time they want me to come to see the other one. Um, but there is a third one I want to have a look at. I saw it online, but I'm having a hard time contacting the office. I don't know if that's a bad sign or not, um, but I called and I keep going to voicemail. 
so i'll probably just go there directly and see if i could see something so we'll see so the first one was a no <laughs> but it's like pretty close to my job it's like 20 minutes drive to my job so i was hoping it would be something good but no all right i don't want to have to pay all that money for somewhere that has roaches so we'll see i mean <laughs> i just saw the first one and i'm already getting a bit dejected and i don't know all right so this is the yeah Okay, I'll wait outside for you. Mm -hmm. This is the living area. The dining area. Oh, these are closets. Let me see. Oh, it's like a pantry. Like a pantry area. And then the kitchen with this is a dishwasher and a sink and a food and a washer dryer the like laundry area. Let me see the bedroom. And look, I actually have a view. Hold on, I was gonna show the bedroom. Oh, this is the bathroom. So everything in here will be identical to the upgraded one, right? Okay. Let me see. Oh, what is this area? This is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. Oh, so this is a bed. This would be like my no, bedroom. No. no. Yeah, this would be your bedroom. Now, remember, you want a one-bedroom. Yeah. So the wall will be at the mm -hmm. end. Your bedroom will look like that. So this will be the size of my bedroom in a the one bedroom. A little bit. I think it's a little more bit. like the mattress. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, this is a two-two. So oh, yeah. I understand. Oh, and this is this is the same size in the... In the bed, in the... In the yeah. Okay. Like... Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna be spending. <laughs> oh, would I get a view like this? Well, or no? You have to look in the system. You have oh. To look in the system. Some of them have yeah. nice views like this. Some of them just, don't. You know, but you, it'll tell you in the system. Okay, but the view doesn't really matter to me anyway. And the, the this is nice. This is and the bedroom. In the closet. And in the bathroom. And then the kitchen. And it has a Washer and dryer. It's just a bit older than, well, much older. <laughs> and then the pantry area. You know, I was worried. It, it's so not this, bad. This is the third post that has the vaulted ceiling. Inside. Yeah, it's not bad. It, so I, I mean, do have one for thirteen ninety four. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is like a closet. Oh, it opens into the kitchen. Yes. So, oh, like, if somebody oh, comes yes. here, they don't have to go through my room. Yes. Oh. And, oh, that's a boiler. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The one seat your mess. Yeah. yeah. But the only thing is the closet's a little small because I have a lot of clothes. Oh no, same thing. Here. Oh, there's another one here. There's two. All right, I think I think this should be enough. I could make it work. 
they could make it work because there is two it's not like it's just one closet and i need to and get the so, I mm -hmm. mean, uh, I saw one of our tenants already. Um, she made me walk and show me. She did show me. So what yeah. Else? So, you're more than welcome to show me totally. in here. On the moment that you move out, yeah. just make sure that you patch your holes. Same oh. thing, you can put picture frames, mirrors. Just get rid of the holes. Your holes. Okay. Yeah, she did like shelving mm -hmm. here, and on this one, she just raised this a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I mean, I, I appreciate that they're thinking on the petite ones that we can <laughs> get. <laughs> the petite <laughs> ones tend to have space. a lot of clothes. Yes. <laughs> but they're wasting space. Now. Yeah, but I really like it. I really like this one. Well, the price is fantastic, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're gonna raise price for the apartments. Right now it's all over pre-owned. Yeah. Price right now. This is nice. Brand new appliances. Yeah. You still have all the manuals in there. Mm -hmm. For your mop bucket, you don't even have to lift it. You have a hose here, mm -hmm. so your back will appreciate oh. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those little details that make. Yeah, and there's a lot, lot of storage space. This is really nice. I prefer so I'm back at the hotel. I decided to go with the third apartment that I showed you, the new complex, because it was brand new and it was way cheaper than the first two that I looked at. The only drawback was the closet. Although it had two closets, they weren't walk-in closets, um, and they were a bit smaller than the other two. But um I don't even need, I'm going to try to work with the space that I have and try not to buy too much junk to fill it up. Um, so I filled out the application so um, they'll let me know, you know, hopefully it all goes well and I could move in soon. So we'll see. I'm just going to wait until they process the application and let me know if I've been approved for the place. So <sighs> at least I've, I've got something down because the quicker I move out of this hotel, the better because i don't want to have to keep paying the only issue now is uh, it's going to take a while for them to process the apartment application um and i was supposed to check out of this hotel on monday so i may have to pay for a few more days here um i didn't want to have to do that but it's looking like i may have to uh, so <laughs> if i have to i have to but um we'll see okay <laughs> So the apartment has been approved, yay! Um, so I'm supposed to get the keys today, but the problem is I can't get the keys until I put on the electricity in the apartment. And the electric company is closed on the weekend. Today is a Sunday. Um, so I don't know if I'll be able to, probably. I'm gonna try, so I'm gonna go by the leasing office um and see if there is anything they could do because maybe even if i won't be staying there tonight maybe i could move some uh, maybe if I'm, even though i'm not going to be staying there tonight maybe i'll be able to move some things in um we'll see i'm gonna go there she gets there at one o'clock so i'm gonna wait till one o'clock to go there and speak to her and see what they could do um in the meantime um i have to get some furniture shopping done I've already ordered a bed online because the I went to the stores yesterday and the beds were so like overpriced. You know, one thing I learned while doing this move, when you're renting, don't buy expensive furniture. Do not do it. Because if you're not planning on, even if, because when you're renting, you're planning on living there short term. You're not planning on renting forever. So one day you're gonna move and when you have to move, it costs especially if you're moving to another state it costs so much money to ship your furniture from one state to the next i know one company quoted me four thousand five hundred, and i wasn't even shipping my old furniture it was just my clothes and they wanted four thousand five hundred. so imagine if i had to ship the furniture so this time around i'm doing things differently i'm not buying any expensive furniture I'm gonna wait until I own a house to really spend on good quality furniture. For right now, I just need it to work and be comfortable and clean. That, that's it. 
that's it i'm not spending a ton of money so when i do decide to move again i'll just probably donate the stuff because i'll probably i'm gonna make sure i get it for as cheap as possible so watch me watch me i'm gonna decorate that apartment and bet well you're probably gonna know because i'm gonna tell you i got it cheap but if i hadn't told you and you came to that apartment you'd have sworn i got it at some expensive place i'm gonna decorate this thing on a budget real budget queen here <laughs> oh my gosh so anyway i'm gonna go into ross dress for less um see what i could get um we don't have ross in new york but it's cheaper than marshall's and tj maxx so i should try to get like household things there so that's what i'm gonna do and then so i'm gonna i need pillows i need window curtains i literally need everything i need plates cups spoons pots everything um and, uh, so i'm gonna go in there and look and see um if i see anything i like and once again i'm not gonna buy the most expensive thing i'm gonna stick to my budget mm -mm. it don't make sense to overspend especially when you're living in an apartment buy things cheap <laughs> and save your money for a house okay so that's what i'm doing this time around nothing expensive all right so let's get going i just had breakfast and i'm gonna go check out the place and then one another thing because i'm staying in a hotel i can't cook so i've been eating horribly since i've been here every morning i've been eating rubbish for breakfast i literally had a croissant sandwich at burger king something i would never eat on a daily basis so i really the sooner i could get into the apartment and start preparing my own meals um, and they have a gym so i'll definitely be making use of that um, right now i'm just gonna be eating crap i've eaten every day i can't remember i probably had broccoli yesterday um and that's the only time i had vegetable that's another thing too in this area people don't really eat a lot of vegetables <laughs> so and when i'm looking at the restaurant menus i don't see a lot of salads that's a drawback because in new york you have literal solid restaurants i don't see anything here um you have vegan restaurants you, you have here you <laughs> i see a ton of fast food places but i think because it's more like a, a vacation area um they cater to people with kids coming for vacation and stuff so they don't really have those healthy things there um but there's a lot of other options like chinese food yesterday i had indian food um, but it's all been a ton of carbs and a ton of oil and a ton of fat and a ton of salt uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm i'm hanging in there i'm hanging in there um and then i've yet to find somewhere that has really nice fresh fruits and vegetables i went to aldi the other day and they had i got um grapes but i didn't really see much of a selection in there i don't know if i went on a bad day but we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna go to Ross now and see what they have. Okay. These are nice, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I don't wanna buy a rug and then it doesn't fit with what I have going on. So I'll wait for accents before I buy anything else. And this is this is gonna this is like a lot of maintenance oh no not this color that's gonna drive me insane and we need no we already have um we already have this so I think I need this like I think I would go for something see it's like six dollars okay. I'm on a budget I'll go for something more simple like simple and modern nothing fussy I think they have more 21 I don't know if they have more back there This isn't bad either. But I like this one more. Oh. 
Oh, and the curtains. And I don't want these. Uh -uh. Don't want these. No. Um, I'm gonna need hangers. Velvet one. Work. I had a pack. I probably should have kept it. It's like velvet and gold here. They look so. Oh, here. There. There it is. Like that. Let's see how much is it. Oh, it's just $10 for $25. See, it's like $10. Yeah. It's more like it. Somebody needs this here. Oh my I do. It doesn't belong to somebody. Oh, this is cute. But as I said, I won't buy accents until I actually have laid out everything. I'll buy anything like this until I figure out like the major stuff. I may need a shower caddy because I don't remember seeing one in the shower. bathroom curtain uh, but I want like a plain one like a plain white I don't want any designs on there let me see after I leave here I'm gonna check Burlington as well, so let's see. So far, I don't really see any that I like here. Oh, like one. I pretty much need everything, but I'll just wait and see how I'm feeling, like what color, because I like these colors, like simple colors, nothing loud. So let me see how much this is one. Twenty dollars. I want something cheaper than that. Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm, that's almost the same again. We'll see. I'll come back when I make up my mind regarding these things. It's like sixteen dollars. Mm. All right. I will definitely need towels. I think I should get plain white one. I hate loud colors. Let me see. This one is nice. Okay. Let me see how much. How much is it? 
like $7. Seven. Okay. We'll come back to that. Okay. And I'm gonna need pillows. I need everything. Every everything under the sun. I need it. And they have to come get a pair of this. I may need to come get this. I'll come back when I actually get the keys to the place. Because if I don't get the keys, I'll be, I don't know, having all these things packed up, lugging them around. So I'll just wait till I get the keys and I'll come back and get um, stuff like this. And I mean, oh, I'm definitely, depending on the space, I would get lamps, but I'm planning on going to the thrift store. Let me see how much are these. These are like, this is unusual. I don't know. I'll just shop around and see. And then, because I'm not even sure what type of vibe I'm really going for yet. So, I'll just wait to get those accents. Like, when I figure out the main things, main details, then I can add little accents here and there to match what I have going. And I'm going to need bed sheets. And another thing... Speaking of the bed. So I got the keys to the apartment just a while ago. So I need to get more stuff and get to cleaning. The stuff I bought, I bought some cleaning products at Walmart yesterday. So I need paper towels, rags, and then I'm gonna go back to the apartment and start cleaning it because the, it, this is gonna take me a while. It's not dirty, but it's dusty. So I definitely need to clean it before I even um, start taking my stuff out or anything like that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna stop by, there's another, I saw Marshalls and another Ross on the way back. So this time I could definitely get like towels, um, sheets and stuff like that and more rags and stuff to do some cleaning. And then, oh, okay, so let's go. I'm exhausted. Cause I got the keys, so might as well I go to the apartment and do some cleaning. Um, Cause I have to check out of the hotel tomorrow at 10 a.m. So I went back to Marshalls, not Marshalls. I went back to Ross, and I went. Look at my eyes. I am <laughs> so tired. And listen, I miss the. I really miss the convenience of New York because in New York, everything that you would need would literally be beside each other like if you want to buy cleaning products the supermarkets there dollar trees right by that everything is like next to each other here you literally have to drive to get to go to one store then drive to the next store then drive to the next store it takes a longer time to get simple tasks done because I had to go back and buy some more cleaning products. Like I needed a wash rag to wash the bathroom and I needed a bowl to, you know, put water in. So I had to go back and get those. And then I needed some sponge and some brush, you know, to clean the toilet and stuff. Um, so I went back to Dollar Tree and I got that. And I need pillows, cause I don't have any pillows for the bed that's coming. So I had to go back and buy a pair of pillows and then I went back to Burlington and I bought uh, uh, bedding. So, oh God, I feel like I've been running up and down all morning. And now I'm gonna go back and clean. I'm literally gonna go back and clean the apartment. Jeez. And it's around like four going on, five o'clock. No, look at my head, look at my hat, oh God. <laughs> All right, so I just got inside the apartment and look at all the stuff I bought it, it just this morning. So that's the bedding. When the bed comes, I'll use that and the pillows. I got a spin mop at Walmart. 
because I may have, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to wipe those floors a little bit because it's not dirty, but it's dusty. And then paper towels. And in here, this is the shower caddy that I got. And some towels. And I'm gonna have to wash these because, yeah. And then I got these at Dollar Tree, like cleaning stuff. And these bulbs to help with the cleaning. And then I got another set like of bed sheets. Okay. And over here, you see laundry detergent, cleaning products, bleach, and then the hangers that I got this morning. So let's get going. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I've fully moved into the apartment now. I'm trying to get myself settled. Um, so it's not fully there, but I'm gradually getting things together here and there. But uh, you know, it, everything takes time. So I'm just gonna give myself time to settle in because I'm still getting used to the new environment. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna try to definitely post more frequently because I really do wanna grow my channel. So I'm gonna start making an effort to, you know, really get it going and get my content out there. Um, and in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Thank you so much for the support. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.